This is the NFL on EA Sports, and we are in the Pacific Northwest at CenturyLink Field in Seattle, Washington. These folks love their football in Seattle. This was the scene a moment ago as the home squad came out of the tunnel, and it was just absolutely deafening in this building. They're set for football. So are we as the Seahawks get set to match up with the Dallas Cowboys. That'll be taken about a yard deep. Going to get this across the 20 as he's out of bounds at the 23. The Cowboys take over first and 10 at their own 23 yard line. Prescott looks to throw on first, escaping the pressure right into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Shaquille Griffin with a pick. That's kind of a double whammy. I mean, the interception on the opening drive, that's one thing. But to give him this field position, that's another. Absolutely perfect start for this defense. They take the ball away in the opening possession. They know that their offense will get the ball to start the second half. They line them up in field goal position. And to me, they got a chance for a touchdown right here out of the gate. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Two yards on the pickup. It's second and eight. Wilson after the play fake to Carson. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked up by Anthony Brown. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. He's just got to be thinking, I hope that's not a harbinger of things to come. Very first pass of the afternoon picked. And where do you go from here? Because when you start that way, do you allow that to seep into you and stay with you the rest of the game? Or do you find a way out of it? We're going to find out. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two. And it brings up second down. The 22 yard line. Out of the gun. Here's Prescott. And he finds his target. It's Schultz. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. Complete two you don't always expect tight ends to be big in terms of run after the catch, but after that play, he joins a growing band of players that's putting that stereotype right on its ear. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Prescott from the gun. And there is Amari Cooper, his first catch. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. First down, Dallas. So from Seahawk territory now, it's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. From the shotgun again to Elliott. 
Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. He was brought down at the 45-yard line. It's a gain of five. Brings up second and five. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. Throw left side complete. It's Elliott. That he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. Well, they've certainly done a nice job spreading the ball around on this drive. This time he gets it out to his back, and it's another nice play and another first down. They've got the defense on their heels a little bit. They're reacting instead of being aggressive and making plays. No running room for Zeke on first down as he'll maybe get a yard out of that. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. One yard gain brings up second and nine at the Seahawks. Prescott to throw it. And a little floater there, but it'll wind up incomplete, falling to the ground. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. seven of this drive, but it's a tough third and nine. Prescott down. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived, and I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. Dak and the offense still out there. They are going to go for it. Fourth down, Prescott. And this is caught, Amari Cooper. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. A big pickup of 12 yards on fourth down to keep this drive from stalling. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Draw play, Elliott. And he's going to get about four down inside the 10 to the 9. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun, then they ran out of it. That was a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Out of the gun, it's Elliott. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. A nine-yard touchdown run. And the Cowboys have taken the early lead. A strong, determined run there, Charles, to get in for six points. This is why it's such a team game, isn't it? And I know it sounds really generic and it sounds almost trite, but the blocks were made up front, offensive line, collective victory at the line of scrimmage and downfield. And how about the finish to the run all the way into the end zone? Rick Zerline picking off for Dallas. Now he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. This is DJ Reed returning. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. And a good return, able to get out across the 35 to the 36. At their own 36-yard line. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And they had a nice little drive going last time. Threw the interception in the red zone. Costly. Bad enough to throw it anywhere, but that drives coaches insane when they're thinking about, hey, we've got a shot at points already. We're already in a spot where you're thinking you've got three on the board for sure, and to come away with nothing, that's a really tough one for them to swallow. Yeah, will they make up for it? Thank you. 
They'll try again from the 36 on second and 10. They go play action with Wilson. Well, the catch is made here by Tyler Lockett. Yeah, he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Well, fair to say that when you're looking at guys that can run like the wind, you often find him at the wide receiver position, and that was special there. And that's the kind of play where you have to kind of catch your breath afterwards and just give me a second here because when he shifted into high gear, he was an absolute blur out there. No substitute for speed. We talk about that all the time. The evidence was right there. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Well, that was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them. And I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. Off the play fake. Here's Wilson. He's forced out right. Well, that was something to behold there. You might expect runs like that from a kick returner or wide receiver, but that's your quarterback hitting top speed. And normally when you see guys moving this fast, it might be a fly pattern from a receiver or a toss sweep from a tailback or something like that. This was designed as a passing play, and then he got out of the pocket, and he just took off, and he just kept gaining momentum with every step. Rolling to his left. He'll run it. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. They brought the blitz that time, and I thought they were going to get to him, but instead, he flipped it on its ear and ended up picking up positive yardage. I thought he was dead to rights, but you are exactly correct, sir. Able to turn that into a positive game. Here's second and two now from the three. This is Carson. They're able to get a couple here, but won't get across the plane as they stop him right around the one. Just shy of the goal line. Brings up third down. On third down, it's Carson. And this time he is in. Yes. Taking it in from a yard out. And the Seahawks are now just an extra point away from moving out in front. A solid blocking up front from the guys on the offensive line allowed him to get in for the touchdown. Yeah, some might say that the guys on the offensive line were in concert. I used to have a coach who called it marrying up, meaning when you get on a guy, you just stay right there. And each guy has his own assignment that allowed the runner to make the big move towards the end zone. Jason Myers now for the extra point. He's got it, and they take the lead at 7-6. to six. Makes the score Seahawks 7, Cowboys 6. Jason Myers to kick off for Seattle. the touchdown. Here's Myers to boot it away. This is Tony Pollard. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. Take over first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. They'll start the drive with Elliott. He'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Throwing. Prescott. Pressure comes. He's taken down by the Seahawks defense. They'll need a big play here. Will Dak and the Cowboys after the sack? It's third and long. 
Looking to throw. Prescott. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he's going to get this to about the 20, but that is well short of what he needed. That's going to bring up fourth down, only a gain of two there. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Coming up at halftime, Jonathan Coachman will join us from Orlando with our halftime report. But business to take care of before we get there. A two-minute drill before the coach's two-minute drill. Open man lamb. It's complete. Pass the two. Nothing. Like Touchdown, yeah, Cowboys. C.D. Lamb, an 80-yard touchdown. And the Cowboys have retaken the lead. That certainly went against the traditional ways of playing football, but who cares? Look at the result. Big touchdown. They went for it on their own side of the 50. So there's conservative, there's aggressive, and there's really aggressive, which is what we just saw there. Tip of the cap to them. Here's Reed. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. The Seahawks take over first and 10 at their own 27-yard line. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. And they had the touchdown during the last drive, and I'm guessing that you like the balance they had on that last drive. And I loved it. Forget liking it. Absolutely loved what they were doing because to be ahead of the defense that much where every play call you have, run or pass, is working pretty well for you. Makes you look like a genius. It really does. It also lets you know that your preparation was pretty good, and now the defense has to do all the adjusting. On the move to his left. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Will Disley, the intended receiver, third down here. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and ten. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. Now Wilson. Get back to the line of scrimmage as he's going to be taken down. Big Demarcus Lawrence getting it.